Hey what's up guys, today I'll show you a science fiction film, Flatliners. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins where a young woman, Courtney, is joyfully driving with her younger sister. Unfortunately Courtney gets distracted, causing their car to accidentally crash into the river. Courtney survives the accident, but unfortunately, her younger sister dies. Nine years later, Courtney became a medical student and now works as a medical intern in a hospital. Her patient asks her if she ever lost someone, leaving her disturbed. In the other room, her colleagues, Ray and Marlo, are treating a patient who has been in an accident. Ray is one of the most excellent medical interns, while Marlo is the competitive one. That night Courtney is researching about the afterlife in the library. Apparently, she becomes obsessed with the afterlife, after the death of her sister. She then plans to access the afterlife through a procedure, called flatlining. The procedure will stop her heart, giving her a brief moment of near-death experience. On the other side, she notices another medical student, Sophia, who is crying because she is having a hard time studying, and her mother pressures her to succeed. Courtney approaches her, and proceeds to console her from her problems. Courtney then invites Sophia to join her in her extracurricular project, so they can spend time together. The following day, Courtney also invites her other colleague, Jamie, to join her in the project. She instructs Jamie to sneak to the secret hospital facility in the basement later at night. Jamie misunderstands her invitation, and he believes that she invites him to have a hormone moment in the basement. He then gets excited, and he accepts her invitation. Night comes the three meet in the basement. Courtney then reveals her plan to experiment with the afterlife. She instructs the two to stop her heart using the defibrillator, and revive her after 60 seconds. She also tells the two to document her brain activity, when her heart stops. Jamie then begins the procedure to stop Courtney's heart. As it finally stops, Courtney is able to have a perception outside of her body, as if she becomes a spirit. She is able to perceive the things in the hospital, and her perception begins to roam around the city. After 60 seconds, Jamie and Sophia frantically revive her, but they fail to do so. Sophia then calls Ray's assistant. Ray then rushes to the basement, and Marlo sees him. Ray eventually arrives in the basement, and begins to revive Courtney. During her revival, Courtney's perception of reality shatters, as if a force is sucking it. She then begins to exist in a magical cosmic world. In a few moments, Ray manages to revive her, so she gets back to the real world, instinctively gasping for breath. Marlo also arrives in the basement, witnessing Courtney's secret experiment. At night, Courtney shares her magical near-death experience. The group then checks her brain scan during that time, and they find certain parts of her brain activated during her near-death experience. The group gets fascinated by the results. But Ray thinks that their experiment is not a good idea. The following day, the experiment result becomes more apparent, as Courtney displays unusual behavior. She suddenly becomes so energetic to bake bread for the whole class. She also has the capacity to recall her memories vividly. During the class, she is able to answer difficult questions, making the professor impressed. At night, Courtney plays the piano, despite not playing it for years. The group then falls into amazement after witnessing it, and thinks that her brain gets enhanced after flatlining. Courtney soon comes into her home alone, and she has a vision of a figure in the tub, scaring the shit out of her. After seeing the flatlining's result, Jamie decides to undergo the flatlining procedure for two minutes, during that time, Jamie sees himself riding a motorcycle through the city with his ex-girlfriend. They ride through the streets, and find the city completely desolate. His ex-girlfriend soon disappears, and the group revives him. After that, the group has a party, where Jamie and Courtney turn wild. The two have the same energy, and they begin to destroy the house wall. After that, they share a passionate tongue massage. Suddenly, Hale begins to fall outside, so they run outside to play with the ice. There, Marlo shares to Ray that she wants to be flatlined next. After the party, Courtney asks Jamie if he experienced something disturbing during his flatline. Jamie denies it, saying everything feels amazing during that time. The following day, Jamie displays an improved capacity to recommend medications to a patient. Marlo then observes the flatline gives him improved intuition in the present, while it gives Courtney enhanced capacity to recall past memories. Right then, Jamie looks at the window, and sees a vision of his ex-girlfriend, but the vision soon disappears. At night, the group prepares for Marlo's flatline procedure. But Sophia cannot arrive in time, since her mother disallows her from going out. The group proceeds to the procedure, putting Marlo in a flatline moment. During that time, she returns to her competitive past, where she rides a horse, plays the violin, and joins a swimming competition. To her surprise, she sees a murderer written in the pool, and jellyfish appears around her. 
she suddenly recalls her former patient, who died under her care. She then appears in a dark place, together with the patient's dead body. That moment, the group finally revives her, and she's back to reality. The group brings Marlo to the rooftop, where they comfort her since she appears to be sick after the flatline. Sophia arrives, wanting to undergo flatlining. Ray suggests that they should stop doing the experiment, but Sophia insists that she needs academic advantage to please her mother. The group then allows her requests, and they go back to the basement to do the procedure. During Sophia's flatline moment, she goes back to her past, when her classmate achieves a higher grade than her. She then leaks her classmate's private photos, causing her classmate to suffer in shame. After that, the group finally revives her and rushes out of the basement, as the cleaners are heading there. They then drive to a public party, where Courtney sees a vision of her sister walking in the party. She then follows her sister, until they reach the parking lot. Suddenly, her perception of the world changes, as her surroundings turn into a desolate place. She then sees their crashed car, and she takes a peek inside, where she sees her sister drowning. Her sister suddenly moves, scaring her off, which pushes her back to reality. Meanwhile, the flatline procedure causes Sophia to build up more hormones. She then invites Jamie to her house, where they share a wild moment. Her mother catches them doing their smelly business. So she scolds Sophia, but she says to her mother that she will be moving out of their house. In the meantime, Ray escorts Marlo back to her home. They have a conversation where Marlo shares the story of her patient, who died after the sting of jellyfish. Marlo confesses that she is partly responsible for the patient's death. It turns out, she fails to know the patient's medical background, making her give medication to the patient that leads to the patient's death. The guilt from that mistake has haunted her ever since, so Ray consoles her with his muscles, and they begin to kiss. That night, Jamie comes home to his boat, where he sees a vision of his ex-girlfriend. He then hears a sound of a baby crying, so he comes to check the storage. There, he sees a figure of a baby under a cloth, but finds nothing inside after he checks it. He calls Courtney, who is also freaking out, after seeing her sister earlier. He then rushes to Courtney's home. Courtney's hallucination about her sister continues at her home, so she creates a video, revealing her hallucinations. She then confesses she did the flatline experiment, because she misses her sister, and not because of science. At that moment, something strange calls her attention. She then follows it, and she has a vision of her sister furiously drawing on the table. She becomes completely scared, making her run away to the emergency stairs. But the visions keep chasing her, until she falls to the stairs, leading to her death. The following day, the professor calls the group, and informs them about Courtney's death. He then asks them if they know what's going on with her, but they refuse to tell the professor anything, since revealing their experiment might get them expelled. They then plan to get the experiment's documents from Courtney's apartment, to avoid revealing their secret experiment. At night, Jamie manages to get Courtney's computer and notes, but fails to find her phone. So Marlo comes to the morgue to find it. She eventually gets the phone, and checks Courtney's body. That time, her visions begin haunting her. The lights turn off, and she proceeds to wander around, until she finds her former patient, scaring her off. Meanwhile, Jamie has a vision of his ex-girlfriend again. He gets completely scared, making him run away out of the boat like a baby. But the vision chases him outside, and stabs him in the hand. The group soon meet ups to watch Courtney's video before her death. They then witness Courtney's final moment, where she begins having visions of her sister. So the group wonders if their visions are real, or if they are just hallucinations. Marlo suggests that their past sins are haunting them, so Jamie and Sophia confess their past sin. Jamie forced his ex-girlfriend to abort their baby, and he proceeded to leave her alone during her pregnancy. Meanwhile, Sophia confesses she hacked the computer of her classmate and revealed her classmate's private photos. But both the ex-girlfriend and the classmate are still alive. Ray then insists that they are only hallucinating because of their guilt, since they cannot be haunted by someone who is still alive. During a discussion, Sophia suddenly sees a vision of herself having a romantic moment in the hospital monitor. But in reality, the monitor only displays a brain scan. It is then revealed that their visions are just hallucinations, which are the product of their guilt. Sophia proceeds to walk out of the class and rides the elevator, where she hallucinates again. The elevator traps her, and it brings her to the highest floor. To her surprise, the elevator brings her to an old classroom, where her classmate suddenly appears, scaring her out of her shit. At that moment, her hallucination stops, and she comes back to reality. The following day, Ray confronts Marlo, after learning that her patient's autopsy report is manipulated. Marlo then reveals she changed the autopsy report, to keep her mistake a secret. She says she did it to protect her medical career. Ray insists that she must tell the dean about her mistake, 
and fix the autopsy result. But Marlowe is firm on her decision to keep it a secret, since she fears that it might end her career. This makes Ray utter that she does not deserve to be a doctor. Meanwhile, Sophia visits her former classmate to seek an apology for her mistake. She confesses to her classmate that she is the one who leaked her photo. Her classmate becomes angry at first, but she eventually forgives Sophia. Jamie calls Marlo, informing her that they should take responsibility for their mistakes. In that way, they would overcome the guilt which haunts them, possibly saving them from hallucinations. Jamie rides to his ex-girlfriend's house and soon finds her. To his surprise, his ex-girlfriend keeps their baby, as he sees that their baby is finally now grown up. Jamie then admits to her mistakes and apologizes for them. He then promises to her that he will help them from now on. Later, Marlo is reading about the afterlife when she has some visions again. She appears back to the desolate place again, together with her patient's dead body. Completely frustrated from her hallucinations, she decides to fix herself by doing the flatline procedure alone. In the hospital, Ray receives a text from her, saying she needs to make the hallucinations stop, making him worry. He then calls Sophia and Jamie, informing them that they need to find Marlo. He eventually finds Marlo's car in the hospital, so he figures out that she must be in the basement. So he informs Jamie to immediately head to the hospital. Ray and Sophia soon arrive in the basement, finding Marlo unconscious. It seems that she already did the flatline procedure to herself. Jamie also arrives there, and they proceed to revive her, but they are having difficulty, as her body fails to respond. Meanwhile, Marlo sees herself in a hospital ward, where a mysterious force attacks her. The force then begins drowning her in the tub. The revival procedure fails to work, making the three completely hopeless. But Ray figures out another procedure to revive her. He injects a substance into her body, and informs her that he needs her. Marlo survives the drowning from the tub, but she still remains in the hospital ward. The force suddenly sucks everything back, and she tries to fight back against it. During her struggle, Courtney appears and advises her to forgive herself for the mistakes she committed. Ray uses the defibrillator on Marlo, finally reviving her. She then regains consciousness and comes back to reality. After her successful revival, the group joyfully celebrates. Jamie informs Ray that he decides to stay and be a doctor in the town, rather than pursuing his dream to be a doctor in LA, so he can give care to his ex-girlfriend and their child. Soon after, Marlo informs the dean about the autopsy, ultimately fixing her mistakes. The dean then puts her on probation. After that, she meets up with Ray, who brings Courtney's laptop to the bridge. They then throw the laptop into the river, so no one will ever try the experiment. At night, the group reunites in the pub, where they hear someone playing the same song Courtney played. In the end, the group performs cheers dedicated to their late friend, Courtney. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.